Alright everyone, welcome to the first round of CCRL. We are taking place in Dragon Trail. This is the free practice session that is going to be taking before the race. We are situated here early. We have already have a bunch of people here on the grid with us. I am joined here by my co-commentator, Unleash My Havoc. My name is Noob's brother. I'm currently commentating right now. I am also gonna have to say both. <laughs> he is flying after turn Man. six. When I'm flying in, oh, oh Reko's off. <laughs> Reko is in the barrier. Didn't even see that. Jeez, that's that could be okay. a result of him just pushing the car. I think we also have someone um, docked. No, oh, we do. You see it on the you see it on the um, the track the track map. I do. Yes. Yeah. Let me see if I can't didn't, figure didn't out. Get a, didn't oh, two was. people. The, the two people got killed. By the chicane, they're in the shadow realm. Uh, the Dutchman just wow. goes into the barrier. Beautiful turn through the apex there. Coming out. Now, is he going to make the mistake of going too far left? No, he makes it perfect. Heading into turn 13. Nailed it. 14. Coming nailed through it. Dutch now, chicane. how's he going to get the lift? Oh. Oh, oh he's in the no. Wall. Another Man. death by the chicane. <laughs> Wow, that chicane has claimed a lot of drivers so far. Kind of rare to see Reco racing nowadays, and he has stepped in into CCRL to show us that Mercedes can work. And a third place is definitely not, it's not, you know, you wouldn't sneeze at it. No, you would not. Podiums are always a uh, good marker for your skill. And especially in a field as uh, competitive as this one, it's it's a really good sign. Reco's coming up through traffic. Oh. Uh, a Mazda. Is he in a Mazda? Yeah, he's he's in a Mazda. Interesting. I believe he's a McLaren driver. Yeah. So that's a he's... interesting. That's an interesting vehicle of choice there. Yeah, Reco says, "Who is that?" Yeah, I. I don't know, um, I would have to message Azmat, he's in a, he's in a Mazda, and, um... <laughs> Reko obviously voicing some, uh, some confusion, some, seems kind of upset, actually, by the tone of that. Just because, honestly, we have no I would idea be too. what he's doing there. Yeah, I mean, it just seems kind of, like, if I was driving and I just saw a car that wasn't on the list... That would just be confusing, maybe throw me off my laps. He says McLaren driver. <laughs> yeah, as mad we know, but... <laughs> that is definitely not McLaren, buddy. Now, everyone, welcome to the qualifying session of round one of CCRL. Siski says... This is from Discord. He says his auto drive is messing up. He cannot leave the pit lanes. And Tomsoft seems to be having the same issue. Um, we will definitely stop the session to make sure that these two drivers are going to be... um going to be you know <laughs> qualifying and racing we are going to be changing the qualifying session to eight minutes because we had some issues with the bugs so i'll just be spectating just to see if anyone's stuck and wow dear yep the bug is still there i'll restart the lobby once more we had to restart it a whole bunch of times uh there was some debate over doing a one-shot quality or scrambled grid are they doing burnouts they're doing burnouts uh it does look like they are doing some burnouts they already won the championship <laughs> yeah it's they're done. celebrating already <laughs> it's a mercedes one too we can't escape it as Again, we head into the it's going to, like to spectate everyone Maya joe pulls off okay we're looking good I think Reco oh. has the glitch again. Rabbit has it. GT hitting us with the spaghetti coating. Yeah, this is this is definitely how I plan everything going. <laughs> All right, we good to head it into the race then. Um, I have to restart to do scramble. Simtic says, and I'll I'll confirm with everyone to see if I have to restart. Qualifying has okay. been canceled. Lovely. That's exactly what we want to see. Off to a great start here at the CCRL. Yes, yeah, so we're doing a scrambled grid start. Now, 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 okay? Starting the race. All right. I just want to see everyone come out, okay? I don't want anyone to uh, get stuck. All right. 
All the cars are rolling right now. All it's, the cars are Hold rolling. on. It seems that... Yeah, uh... Rabies Rabbit seems to be running to an issue with the rolling start. We are away, but... The game just did not let... Rabbit get away. He's down in 13th place. That's a very unfortunate. I... Would hate... Would hate to be him right now. The game just completely screwed him over. The Dutchman going into the lead. All the cars are following through. There's quite a bit of traffic there. They're following each other. Someone seems to be off on the sides. They're losing a lot of position. I do not want to be them right now. Coming in through line. They are going to clip the apex just through. One of the tightest breaking points of the track. They are going to be following each other through. Just no overtakes. The, the McLaren and the GTR. They're very tight with one another. Going through, they're, they're three wide going into the S curves. That is going to be very, very dangerous. For, for oh my God, they're very, they're just tightly holding everything together. Coming over to Plexus, they are following each other down. No moves seem to be made. There's a very good overtaking opportunities here, breaking just at the 125. Everyone, oh my God, how many wide is that? I can't even count. This I forgot how to count. The pack is so bunched up. That's eight wide. That's wider than the Autobahn in Germany. Be crazy. First death chicane to see if anyone is going to get killed. No one so far. Everyone oh! seems to be. The McLaren no hits the, the wall, but everyone it's seems the to. Nissan of uh, Joe lost a lot of positioning there. Man, all the way down in eleventh. He drops down to eleventh place. Asmat is. Right, Asmat wow. got killed in uh, in death chicane. <laughs> um. Rabies Rabbit, unfortunately, seems to be out of the race. DNF due to technical issues. We, unfortunate. It could be the Hopefully game. Hopefully, will be able to bounce back in the next to race. To be very honest with you, it is quite demoralizing to see... It is. Not the, to, to not see him on the race because it's very unfortunate. It is not his fault, and he, he left the room right now. I I do not have much to say to that. I Like I said, to be honest with you, it's very demoralizing to not it have is. him here. But the race goes on, and the race does go on. It's this is something that we have to look into after the race. The pack right now, as it stands: Dutchman, Plexus, Beck, Poctavian, Reco, Albertini, Dinshed, Tomsoft, Linosha, Simtic, Joe, and Asmad bringing up the rear here. Dutchman looking very confident through bus stop. Oh, he has to ease up a lot and grind on the barrier through 15 and 16. Took it way too fast. This last Plexus yeah, so Martin's coming the through. Lead. He's Heading dropped down into, into second. 17. The German driver takes the lead. Good driving from the Aston Martin there of Plexus as he capitalized he came on out of nowhere. Dutchman's mistake. Came out of nowhere. He was following, waiting patiently for his turn. And now after two laps, Dutchman heading into the pits. What happened there? Already. Poctavian remains on top. Now it's a German 1-2 with Plexus and Poctavian. Plex is just increasing his lead already up to 2.2 seconds on Poctavian. Reco close behind, trying to get past into turn six. Oh, they're very close. Who's going to get the better exit? Oh, Poctavian Oh, goes he's wide in the grass. The he's going to lose Reco the position. Reco takes the lead. Very close here. Pocta Re Reco. Poctavian falling. Reco still managing to hold on to second place, heading through turns eight and nine, now through ten. This like is, managed to keep the and he lost the position to the Porsche. This is not the first time a Frenchman has been under attack by a German, Poctavian but he prevails. Reco prevails. Ahead. He is in the second place. He is oh, P2 Poctavian. as we speak. Wow. Expert overtake by Poctavian over Albertini and the Porsche heading into bus stop now. Poctavian, will he be able to maintain speed and defend against Albertini? It looks like he will. Both cars zooming through 15 and 16. Very fast. Now very Albertini fast through the, they took it very to tight. Poctavian trying to cover off Albertini, heading into turn 17. Who's going to be the late breaker? Who's going to have the guts to send it? It looks like Albertini is going on the inside he of Poctavian, and he has the, and he has the position wide. up into the podium places. Wow. Now his eyes are on Reco. Now Plexus dress, desperately trying to defend off Reco, who's closed the gap incredibly. Now... Fighting for the lead, no, he's in the lead. he pushed him wide, but it didn't work out for him. Reco wow. takes the lead in Dragon Trail Seaside in round one of CCRL. He is now leading. Expert overtake there from Reco, closing the gap, which was once was two seconds, erased the gap, and now oh, will Plexus be able they to retake the lead? They are wheel to wheel. They are coming up. Stop. 
I agree oh, with you there. Are they going to try and take this too wide? Who's going to get? Who's going to give? Who's going to just put pedal to the metal? They have to Looks hold like the Plexus gives position. They have to hold the trying third. to get up a good overtake, hoping that Reco makes a mistake here exiting the turn. Oh, they both and so shaky. He is going to hope wrong. Reco is not going to make a mistake. He is going to hold the turn. Something happened to Poctavian. He's now being passed by Lenosius in the Ferrari. Poctavian down in the fifth place. Did the chicane take him? It must have. He looked like he was on the barrier out of 16 off of Reco. The S curve, very Mercedes. crucial, very crucial set of corners, coming down into the coming down into the straights. Albertini he's gaining. Very confident. Oh, oh Reco goes very he wide. Spins. Will he be able to hold it? No, he's spinning. No, Reco spins. Yellow flag, no passing in the second sector. No. Reco that's gets passed by Lenosis. The Ferrari is P2. God, wow. drama. This, if, if you're the Ferrari team principal having to deal with one driver, this is very good for you. You're in a very good position drama now. Drama in Seaside. With Reco six seconds behind. With Reco six seconds behind Lenosius in second place. Albertini takes the, the lead. Spot. Before the race has started, coming into the inside line, going over to the outside. No, he's not going oh, to he break. Oh, he just can't do it. Nothing's Great going to happen there. Poctavian was able to defend very, very cleanly, but he's Holy still going to follow curb. through. That's pushing the boundaries of the track right there. Through turn five. Heading that into is, turn six. Oh my gosh, go he looked in the inside. inside. Oh, he made contact. He shunts the he shunts the Mercedes of Poctavian. Oh, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Position. He's fine. Cannot gain the position. Wow, he looked in the inside. It was a it was a very dangerous play. Didn't play out for him, but he's still on the tail of the Mercedes. Dear this God, is very intense. Three if that was an overtake, cars. I would have jumped out that of my seat. Been, that would have been incredible. Man, oh, he's oh, defending. He defended very heavily. Wow. Oh, he tries to push around the inside. Oh, oh no! Contact again. He just shoves wheel him out of the way. Wheel. He takes the position. The Dutchman climbs up to the fifth oh, place. Oh, more contact. Poctavian. Oh no! Oh, this is this is dangerous. Boys, you better have to be careful. Oh, he pushes him in. And Poctavian, Poctavian. Oh, and the then, Nissan driver. Oh, wow. That was gets that was on. That, that, that was Reco very. Chasing, Reco chasing Dutchman, trying to avenge his teammate. Poctavian gets absolutely that shunted was, by the Dutchman Nissan. That was very nasty. Um, unfortunately, wasn't able to put a good qualifying lapping as we had those issues. Oh, and Beck is off. He crashes out that of was not 15. the back marker. That was, that, no, was, that was Beck. The, that was the number three car. Being that was the taken. Number three position right there. Being and Joe taken as well in the Nissan. By the death chicane. Reco coming up on him as well. Reco might have a go at him. And he's going to. He's going to pass around the outside. Reco up into fifth place. Um, Octavian and Beck both in the pits. Oh, the Ferrari runs wide. Oh, no. he's in the grass, in the barrier. That's disaster. In the barrier, he Joe, is going to. in the Nissan, passes up into the podiums. Three tenths separating, heading into turn four here. No, turn five, excuse me. Uh, oh, he's go oh, will he go for an inside? Oh, they're so close. He wants they, his exit speed. I don't know he's how he's looking touched. very he nice through it. the curb. Oh, Tom's off slippery out of the turn. They're oh, no! Oh, contact. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. What was that? Oh, they make contact. Oh, dirty driving here. This is dirty. No, I I just think they're side by side. They're 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 fully in contact right now. Are they not? It looks yeah, like they're online. Yeah, they. It is not dirty driving. It's just they got oh. their elbows out. Wow, you can see the you can see the dam slight uh, livery damage on the back of both of their cars oh my where they made contact. This is intense. Reco gets a great exit. Will he try oh something? Oh my god! A bus stop. They better keep it through. They better keep it they cool better. through that chicane. Otherwise, it's bad news for both of them. Oh my god. Oh, and Reco comes out on top. Reco comes out on top slightly over Tomsoft. Your fight with uh, with Tomsoft there. Um, you're the like in the latter stages of the race. How do you, do you think do you think it was fair what what you guys were doing? Like how the how you guys were bumping uh, very close riding to Tom that throughout those many laughs. Tomsoft? Tomsoft? Was it Tomsoft. Tomsoft, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> to be honest, I never saw that guy on my screen ever. On my was screen, I'm with you. He, he was not visible you, on my screen. Uh, on my screen, I was and I end up P4, but for everyone else screen and even on the stream, I'm P5 because That's of weird. Yeah, yeah uh, because I think yeah, he, he was P4 and I was P5, but on my screen, he's not here and I'm P4. Interesting. So. 
Maybe I, I was Weird. hiding a ghost that you guys <laughs> were seeing, but I was seeing there was, nobody. There so. was definitely... Wow. Interesting. Plex is losing a bit of time still, almost at a 7 tenths gap to Joe in second place. This dogfight has been going the whole race. Oh! Ooh, a bit sloppy by Plex is there through the God, turn 15 and 16 How much chicane. time will he lose? And yet he still... Was he still gained a bit of time through there? And it is checkered flag Al for Reco wow. for Albertini. Porsche takes the win in Dragon Trail Seaside. It is and P1. It looks like they're gonna have a double podium for Porsche in the inaugural race of CCRL. It is unbelievable a unbelievable race for Albertini. Albertini started in ninth. Wow, what a race! What a what a day of racing, whether it be from the practice, so the qualifying drama. Unfortunate. Wow. So unfortunate for Rabies Rabbit. So unfortunate for him and for Osmod. Had some had some issues there as well. And um That was so I wonder I wonder if we'll see a lot of Porsche qualifying one and twos in the future for these next couple of races here. They seemed extremely strong, extremely hard to beat. Um thank you so much for tuning in and um I will see you guys next time.